Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. The way I am going to present the PCDMEs tutorials is by making examples from the ISO norms and ASME norms. For my first example, I will show you how to make a common datum from a plane and a cylinder. First, create a new program, set the name of the program. Okay, so create a new program, set the name of the program, plane and cylinder common date and click OK. The first thing PCDMIS will ask you to do is to choose a probe that you want to work with. So I'm going to choose this probe from my defined ones 50 uh, times 3. So I have a shaft of 50 millimeters in height and a diameter, tip diameter of 3 millimeters. And I will work with uh, an angle of A0, B0. So second thing, after you will define the probe, you will want to set your preferences for the program. You can do this by pressing F10 on your keyboard, like this, or you can do this by going to edit, preferences, parameters. Now at motion here, we can set the desired preheat and retract distances. Uh, this is to let the software know what distance from the surface it is supposed to go before and after it touches. So set the move speed to 200. But if you are new to PCD miss, please work with 80 millimeters per second to avoid collisions. Okay, leave everything else as they are and click OK. Now you will want to import the CAD model. You can do this by going to File, Import, CAD. And here you will have to choose the file extension that you have the CAD with. Okay, so in my case it's it's a step file and it's already imported. Good. Now that we have the CAD model imported, check if the CAD model has the axis oriented as the machine axis. If it's not, then we will have to, uh, to set it. Okay, so how do we set uh, to check how do we check it so um, we can look at the the cad model that we have here the y axis is uh, represented on top of the cylinder so this is the axis of the cylinder uh, and the y axis is on it and we want the z axis to be on top so we have to rotate the part, the alignment of the part on the X axis. Okay, so how to do this? Go to option, sorry, operation, graphical display window, and transform. Here at rotate, we set the angle at 90 degrees because we want it to be on the plus side and set the X axis. Then we press apply and that's it. The Z axis is now facing up. Now keep in mind when you do Trans transformation of the alignment that you first have to make the rotation and then the translations. So keep this in mind. Now that 
our CAD model has the axis as we want, the next step is to define the way the machine will move around the part in order to avoid collisions. There are several ways to do that, but for now we will use a clearance cube. So, how to do that? Go to Edit, Preferences, Set Clearance Cube. Notice that the window is a simple window and it has only offset value of 10 millimeters. That means that it will make the cube 10 millimeters from all the sides of the, of the CAD model. You can also show it right here and activate it. Clearance cube motion. If you go to advanced, you will have more of advanced features but for now it's fine simple and just click OK. So now the probe will avoid moving uh, 10 millimeters from the part from the size of the part. Good. Now that everything is set we have to let the machine know where the part is located in the measuring range. The way we do this is by making a help alignment with elements from the part and by using few points on the elements. First, press shift on the keyboard and select the plane. Good. Right here on strategy, use plane circle. So it's a circular path on the plane and click on apply. Then go on the editor window, click on somewhere where the plane is and press F9 on the keyboard to edit the plane. First of all, we want the plane to start from the middle. So we will put the nominals in zero and zero on X axis. The plane has a height from the origin of the CAD model of 50 millimeters, as we can see on the Z axis. So we will let it like this. And now we have to select the measurement strategy. Go to path definition. We only want one ring Let's set the first diameter of 40 millimeters. Yes, it's okay. And the pad density, we will need a few points. So we will put 0 0.04 at the pad density to have five points on the plane. Everything looks good and click OK. Good. Now we want to make a circle because we don't want to make a lot of points to make a cylinder and we only want to make a circle right here to uh, move very very fast uh, through the program. So the way to do this if you don't have on the tab here the elements you will want to go to insert feature auto circle now click on the cylinder at the top and it will put exactly at the top the, the circle will be uh, we, we, the software wants to measure the circle exactly at the top but we don't want that so we can see that it's at 65 at the top that means that the cylinder from the plane to here has 50 millimeters that means that if we go at 60, it will be fine. So 5 millimeters from the top. Okay, 360. Go to contact path properties. Okay, four points is enough. Is enough. We don't need the sample points. We don't need avoidance move. We don't need anything. Just create the circle. Good. Now that we have the circle and the plane, we can make our first help alignment. 
go to insert alignment new rename the alignment as help alignment one and set the plane and let me just tell you that the thing I love about PCDMIS is the way the graphical the visual way it shows you the alignment uh, as it moves uh, when you set the elements so notice this now the the alignment moves in all the directions and if I set the plane level Z plus so what this did is it took two rotations so we only have one rotation right now and all the translations and you can see that it rotates like this and it moves in all the axes because we didn't took any translation okay so we took the two rotations now let's took also the origin on Z axis on the plane and the origin on X and Y axis on the circle and now it only rotates in one direction in Z direction in uh, uh, Z axis around Z axis okay good this is all that we need for now it's fine now that we have the help alignment we can work in automatic mode so right in the edit window mode tab automatic no 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 sorry mode dcc this means automatic and we will need to do again the actually now we will uh, do the datums so take again the plane shift on the keyboard click on the plane uh, set again the strategy to plane baseline touch trigger plane circle and apply then again go and edit with F9 from the keyboard make sure it's from the center so these are the nominals zero 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 we will rename this as datum a oh. okay good now go to measurement strategy pad definitions let's set to two rings now the first diameter set it to 35 and the offset let's set it to 10 millimeters so it's 45 let's see okay and pad density 0 0.1 I think it's enough yes okay good this looks good whole surface is covered everything looks fine okay good now we will need to set the cylinder so shift and click on the cylinder click apply then go and edit the cylinder f9 check if the nominals are fine everything looks good it's a 50 millimeter height cylinder so it's okay it's on zero everything looks okay go on contact pad properties let's see hits per level okay so set seven hits per level first depth two millimeters and second depth 10 millimeters the second depth is from the bottom upwards and if you remember we took a probe of 50 millimeters uh, the height of the shaft and uh, 
the height of the cylinder is also 50 millimeters. So 10 millimeters from the ground is it's safe. We can use it. Good. Three levels, that's fine. Also, go to contact sample hits properties. We have three sample hits on the top of the cylinder. This is to let the software know that it starts from here. And let's set the three points at minus three millimeters. Okay, so what that did is it gone in, it's, it's gone inside three millimeters from the edge to make the the contact the three sample points the plane and go right here at contact auto move properties and let the avoidance move at both and uh, the distance at 10 millimeter this is to let the probe know that it needs to go 10 millimeters before it goes to the first point and 10 millimeters after it takes the last point. Good, everything is fine. Now just rename this as datum B and it's okay. Good, everything looks good. Now that we have this, we can make the common datum. In order to do this, we will need a, a construction point, an intersection point. Go to insert, go to feature, constructed point. Now, first set the cylinder. So this is the axis and then second set the plane. In order to intersect the axis, the uh, axis of the cylinder to with the plane, Let's put here intersection and rename as datum a minus b. So this is common datum a minus b and create. Good. Now that we have all of our elements, we can go and construct our final alignment. So insert alignment new. This will be A minus B. Set the plane datum A leveled on Z plus axis and origin X, Y, Z on datum A minus B, common datum. Okay, good, very good. Now that we have this, we can check the collision and we can continue with whatever elements we need to measure from the drawing. So, operation, graphical display window, collision detection, we wait, Okay, this is manual, so we have to continue manually. Good, no collisions detected, everything looks fine. That's it. So guys, this is all for today. I hope you like. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> yeah, now it, it's finished. Good. So, I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Share if you know someone else uh, that needs uh, this information. Subscribe if you are not a subscriber yet. And until next time, have a nice one.